In a recent video, I reviewed a racework chain set, and there's a link to that video up here. However, in that review, I made some comments about how stiff the cranks felt, and in particular, that I couldn't really feel any difference in the stiffness of those cranks than any other cranks that I've used. However, from an engineering perspective, there are some important differences between that racework crank set and some other crank sets like this Ultegra one. So in this video, I want to explain to you, in using these simple props, a pair of rulers, one plastic and one steel, and the tube from the inside of a toilet roll. Just what those differences are and what they might mean for your bicycle parts. I'll be talking specifically about crank sets, but the principles also carry over to many other bicycle parts. Stiffness can be defined as the ability of a component or structure to resist deformation when a load is applied. So a high stiffness component will not deform very much when it's loaded. Similarly, a low stiffness or compliant component will deform a lot. A component stiffness is defined by two factors, a material property called the elastic or Young's modulus and its geometry. I can demonstrate the effect of material by comparing these two rulers, one plastic and one steel. Under load, the plastic one deforms easily, whereas the steel rule deforms less. This is because the steel rule has a higher elastic modulus than the plastic rule. The elastic modulus is a material property. Let's move on to the geometry aspect. I can demonstrate again with this plastic rule. If I bend it across the thin direction, it has a low stiffness, or it's very bendy. However, if I take the same rule and turn it through 90 degrees and then try to bend it, it's very stiff. It's the same material, but the geometry has changed, and therefore the stiffness has changed. However, many bicycle components like these cranks have a significant torque applied to them and therefore you might want to optimize the rotational or torque stiffness. This is a Shimano Ultegra crank and it's of a hollow section design. The racework crank set that I previously showed is not hollow, it has an open section design. Closed section designs like on this Ultegra crank set are more efficient at producing rotationally or torque stiffened components and I'll demonstrate that with the toilet roll tube. The cardboard tube is closed section and therefore represents something like this Ultegra crank set. I've put some marks on the tube so you can more easily see what happens. If I apply a torque to the tube it feels relatively stiff and note those three lines stay in line. I convert it to an open section by cutting along the length of the tube. Now if I put a torque on it, you can see that it is visibly less stiff, and those three lines shift relative to each other. This cardboard tube example shows a huge change in the stiffness when going from closed to open section, despite there being exactly the same amount of material in both cases. For real components like cranks, the change in stiffness wouldn't be nearly as pronounced because the material stiffness aspect of those cranks becomes more dominant. In a subsequent video, I'll produce some computer models of a crank and show you the effect of going from a closed section to an open section design as on the deformations. In particular, how much the cranks twist. I'll also demonstrate how these subtle changes in design can be used to lighten the cranks and yet maintain performance. If you found this video interesting or useful, do me a favor and give it a like. That will tell me and YouTube that you want to see more videos like this. If you want to see the next video, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notifications. From me, until that next video, it's goodbye.